Nah, that snare is ugly. <laughs> What's up everyone, my name is DJ Kubilon, music producer, sound engineer, and the last video I made about the beat breakdown for Shekere wasn't really performed well because um, I had a lot of people saying, yo, where's the screen, want to see the screen, and apologies man, I'm, I, that is why I'm redoing this video so you get to see my process of how I made the record from scratch. And the way I make my beats, I make my beats in layers like this particular song went through several layers of production before the final output and of course this is me taking you through the first layer it went through several layers i didn't count but consider subscribing like share comment on this video so you see more of my releases from this song and uh yeah let's get to it all right so here i am in fl studio and uh for the first layer i added the kick drums and all so I've started with the kick sample. So followed up with the uh, with a snare, you know, just a, a, a slight chop there. Then I have this guy. Then I have this other sound. That's the clap. So um, for this record, I used um, in my rimba to start the intro. If you notice, um, these are the two samples I used in the intro. First, the marimba. And a guitar, of course. Africa samples, sounds. The guitar is one of the most prominent instruments in African music. So I used the sample and combined it with the the marimba sound, but then I made the marimba sound calm down so we can hear more of the guitar in the intro. And of course, uh, this is my bass right here. This is my bass performance. And the way I love to play my bass, I like to keep it simple, just so that the artist can ride on the music conveniently. And make it follow a particular rhythm that helps the songwriting process because in the end, we don't want to have too much stuff clustered around or trying to be too playful about it and then people lose the feel, people lose the essence of the music, you know, making it hard for them to connect to the story. So, um, so far, this is what I have in this particular layer. Then I, I use a snare for the first feeling. Nah, that snare is ugly. <laughs> snare is ugly. <laughs> Ah, well, when I show you more layers, you understand what I did with that snare. So, um, moving forward, I have this other sample. Let me see. Okay, that's actually inactive. Uh. Yeah, so I have that in there to support the kick because I needed something like a... Uh, like a traditional Igbo pot type of bass, you know, just the boom. It's it's a prominent African instrument, you know, just to give the kick drum some kind of drop every time it comes in. So of course the intro we have we have several drops here. Just to let you know. It's action time. Yeah. And of course, in the final process of the entire beat, I realized that I never needed that uh, bass pot because uh, it was beginning to sound too uh, muddy and 
I couldn't get a feel of the real balance for the music. So uh, there we have it, guys. Thanks for rolling through with me on this. And I hope to show you more layers. But before that, I want you all to subscribe, like, share, comment on this video. Uh, it, it, it was actually fun sharing with you. And uh, keep it locked. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you know when I post, right? All right, see you in the next video. Peace. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy.